Hi everyone, what's up? Thank you so much for being here. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Jessie, and today's video is going to be about the MAC Holiday Christmas Edition, and it is called MAC, I'm, a, I'm just gonna read it because it's too long, okay? <laughs> so it's called MAC Shiny Pretty Things Party Favors Mini Glitter and Pigments. So I got two of them. I have the gold, let me show you guys really quick, and I have the pink. So if you guys have watched my video on what's new at Ulta, they also came out with mini lip glosses and mini lipsticks and then one mini lipstick vault again this year, which in my opinion, they increased the price for like $10. I'm like, Mac, why? You started earning money, so you're like, you have to calm down with the prices. But I actually love the price point on this one because this is only $29.50 and it's like you're paying like how much? And I even use my 20% off coupon for this so I'm pretty happy with that I wish I got the um, mini lip gloss set I don't want to spend like $500 for something that realistically I won't be using let's get on with it now I'm gonna show you guys the swatches and then after that I'm gonna show you guys how I created this look right over here and of course I will let you guys know my overall thoughts okay Okay guys, so since this is the one that we are going to be doing in the demo, I'm going to be starting off the swatches with a gold set and then after this I will show you guys how the pink set swatches. Usually, I actually just remove the lid that is sitting on top of it because it's so difficult. I feel like the stopper doesn't really help. I feel like it makes it even worse. Okay, I'm gonna start the swatch with English Guilt. I really love this. And it already fell in the table, so I'm creating a really bad mess right over here. So it is a pigment shadow. It's gonna be a little messy. I was like, what do you mean a little? <laughs> That's so beautiful. Like, wow. And then the next one that I have over here is called Shine Time. It's a really nice cranberry color. Awesome. I'm not going to put that stopper back anymore. It's just, you know, ruining my life. Okay, so I'm going to swatch them side by side. And this is what it looks like. So you really have to press it down because it's loose. So if you're going to put this on your eyes, you have to use something that's really nice and dense. So if you're using a fluffy brush, just be very careful with it. But other than that, it's just so creamy and it really just glides like butter. Now the glitters in this kit, let me just put this aside. The glitters in this kit is gold and copper. These are very beautiful. They won't swatch because they are actually loose glitters, but I uh, hope it focuses. There you go. They're very pretty. The gold one is absolutely beautiful. I started to love glitter eyeshadows, but um, to be honest with you guys, I haven't bought a um, glitter glue specifically for the eyes because I've always been using um, eyelash glue so yeah let's move on to the next kit all right so now let's move on to the pink set I'm gonna open it up Oh gosh, I don't, I didn't know that you can just open it up like that. You don't have to tear it. Oh, whatever. It's already ruined. I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. So it looks like this. I'm just going to be showing you guys the glitter because it's such a complete mess and it looks like the way it is anyways. Okay, so it's more of like a purple glitter. And then the next one is Pink Hologram. It's beautiful. And then let me swatch the two shadow pigments right here. 
Now this is called Pink Opal and then this one is called Bright Fuchsia. I thought I have to tear this to be able to open it so oh gosh now it's an ugly packaging. Well it is what it is. Cause it has like little ridges over here. Ugh, whatever. Okay, this is what the fuchsia looks like. That's actually so pigmented. And because it's loose, you have to use something dense to make the colors pop, but this is actually pretty good. Oh my gosh, I just made a huge mess right over here. And then the last shade is going to be this one. I'm going to swipe the one that's on the lid because, like, why not? So this is more of, like, it has, it has, like, a white cast. But when you tilt it over, it's there's pink in it. So you can use this as a highlighter as well. I feel like it's going to be good for under your brow bone, Cupid's bow. But um, it's not for every skin type if you use it as a highlighter. But it's nice if you put this on all over your lid. I think it's going to be really pretty. So now let's go ahead and start. I can't wait to show you guys the look that I have created for this collection. So I'm going to start off this look by creating my brows, of course. I'll be using the NYX Eyebrow Cake. It has been a while since I have used this product, and I'm actually trying to finish up what I have, so it has been a while since I bought something really new for my brows. But um, I'm putting the brow wax first, and then after that, I'm going to load my brush with a lighter shade, and then just gradually darken it up. And then after that, to prime my whole eye area and to clean the edges of my brow, I'm be using the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer. Just apply it using my finger because our fingers has natural warmth, so it's going to spread like butter. And then to set my whole eye area, I have my Benefit Hula Light. Now, I haven't really used this for contour but because to me, it's like almost the exact shade of my skin, so... I'm also trying to finish that shade up by using it as my eyeshadow base. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and grab this really nice satiny cranberry color in the shade Shine Time and apply that on my crease. And then for my lid, I will be using the shade, I mean the glitter pigment called Gold. And I will be putting a glitter glue first. This doesn't have any brand, so... Just going to use it anyways and gently tap on the glitter. So I'm doing it gradually. What I do with these pigments is that I put them in a mixing plate first before I put them on my eyes. So it doesn't go everywhere. This way it will be 10 times more easier and there's going to be no mess. So I'm packing it with my brush just making sure that there is no fallout so if there is any fallout i'm just going to clean it with a dense brush now i'm going to grab a small tiny crease brush and apply a brown eyebrow shadow and this is to just give it a little you know dimension to create more depth in it because the cranberry color alone will not do it so i'm just going to do this instead so after that, I'm going to go ahead and grab Shine Time again and apply that on top of the brown shade. To me, this looks way even better. So that way, the Shine Time, you know, it makes it more visible. So once I'm satisfied, then I'm going to go ahead and proceed with my lashes. So for my mascara, I will be using the Too Faced Born This Way. This is the non-waterproof version and this is actually the mini one i'm also just finishing it up of course i'm not gonna forget my other eye so for my lashes that will be using the grand glamour lashes from allure i have been using these lashes for a really long time now and i definitely love the quality though some people do not like it because the lash band 
is too thick but uh, recently I've been in love with the Allure Lux line as well the ones in the silver packaging yeah I love those and then after that I will be putting the concealer the same exact concealer that I have used on my lid as a primer it's the same exact concealer that I will be using under my eyes I love this concealer because you know it's uh, it really does its job throughout the day it really does its job and for my face I will be using the Pond's BB cream and I absolutely you know what this is the only BB cream that definitely controlled the oil in my face and it just looks so natural it looks like your skin I absolutely love this product and then to set my entire face, I will be using the Rimmel London Match Perfection. It's their translucent powder. I love it. It's so silky smooth. It feels like the Shui Yumura setting powder. And then for my bronzer, I will be using the MAC Patrick Star Give Me Life. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and do my highlight first before I put on my blush. And this is in the pigment called English Guilt. And I'm just going to apply that using my little dense brush. And then for my blush, I will be using the Benefit California Blush. Now it is time for the lips. First, I will be using the Nice and Spicy, the Pro Longwear Lip Pencil. I absolutely love MAC lip liners. They are definitely one of the best. I feel like they have primers in it. And then for my lipstick, I will be using Aloof. It's a luster type of texture. It's more of like a tinted lip balm in my opinion. And this is the final makeup look, guys. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna set my face first. Okay, so this is the final makeup look. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. I really did enjoy my eyeshadow and glitter pigments. I do not regret getting them. I'm so happy that they have turned out the way that I thought it would be. So, you know, just buy really good quality um, glitter glue because sometimes some cheapy ass glitter glues can leave a white cast on you just like mine. But thankfully it didn't, you know, peep through all out the eyeshadow on my lid. So I don't know if that made any sense, but uh, you know what I'm talking about. So. For the loose glitter, for the loose eyeshadow pigments, just use like a denser brush, pack it, and then blend it out. I love it. It's so blendable. It's so smooth. I have no complaints about it. And I feel like even though these glitter pigments are like in a tiny little pot, I feel like it's going to last me for like forever. And there's no like creasing on my lid as well. I love it. So I hope that I was able to help you guys figure out if you want to buy this set or not. And that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thank you all for your support, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!